Hi, I'm Vicki from Tech Support here at Condi Systems. Today we're going to talk about how to do a supersonic clean on your 4000 series printer. It's work for 4880, which I have here today, R4000, R4800. So first we're going to talk about when and if you should do a supersonic clean. First off, you need to do your manual nozzle check. Your nozzle check is going to let you know if you have a redundant pattern, meaning you have the same colors missing, or you have the same gaps or breaks within your lines on your manual nozzle check. At which point you would have tried doing an auto nozzle check to get the color back. You would have tried possibly cleaning your capping station. You would have tried uh, several different cleaning cleanings or just a regular standard cleaning from your uh, utility within your uh, printing preferences. All those standard cleanings use uses minimum ink and you want to make sure you try all those things before you do a supersonic clean. Supersonic clean is done when you have a clogged nozzle and you need to get the color back, meaning your pattern needs to be complete within your nozzle check. So supersonic clean should only be done with a clogged nozzle and you've exhausted all the other things we just talked about. So I'm going to show you how to do that from your menu. Okay, so you're at your LCD, so your menu's here. So the first thing we want to do is, it's on ready, so we're just going to power down. So make sure you power down. Once the printer is turned off, your LCD goes black. You don't see anything in the screen. That means it's turned off. And it's off. So you're going to hold your pause trash can key. You're going to hold it down. You're going to continue holding it simultaneously. Press down while the power turns back on. You're going to see hex dump come up on your LCD. Once you see a hex dump, H-E-X-D-U-M-P, you're ready to release the pause trash can key. At this point, you're going to come over here to your down arrow key. You're going to down arrow until you see SSCL. SSCL stands for supersonic clean, okay? So you're going to press your menu key at that point. Over to the far right, where you see SSCL, you're going to see E-X-E-C. That means execute. It's asking you to execute. So to execute, you're going to press your menu key again. However, you're going to count to like 10 or 15. Because while we're counting, it's loading the execution uh, file within the printer. So it's like a little program that loads up. So make sure you count to like 15. And during the time that I have talked, we're probably there. You're going to press your menu key again. If it says unable to execute, what that usually means is that when you have a cartridge it is usually a little too low, meaning you've got to have enough ink in the cartridge. So you need at least three bars. Or what it means is that your uh, maintenance tank, which is located below your cartridge on the front side, is almost full. So it will not let you execute if those two things are, are full or your cartridge is empty, any cartridge. So make sure that you have enough ink and that your maintenance tank is not anywhere near full so that you can actually do this cleaning. So you're going to press the menu key and that's going to execute it. It's going to say please wait. And it's cleaning now. Supersonic clean doesn't take as long as a power cleaning, but what's happening is is that Supersonic Clean does an agitation while it cleans. So it's like taking your jewelry to the jewelry store and putting it in one of those little sonic cleaners. So it kind of vibrates while it's cleaning. It's a very good method for declogging a print head. So it would probably, probably be the thing I would do before I do a power cleaning. Once, the, once it's completed, it's going to go back to execute. That's how you know it's done. And the only way to get out of it is to actually turn your printer off. So when it's done, you're going to turn the printer off and back on, and it goes back to ready. You're ready to check your nozzle check again to make sure that you've made some improvement, at which point, if you've come close to making an improvement but not quite there, you might could try another one. But if you don't get good results, I wouldn't keep dumping the ink. I would just call tech support here and see what we can do to help you. All right, supersonic clean comes back, execute, showing on the screen again. That's asking you if you want to do another cleaning, which we don't. So as you can see, there's no way to get out of this. Left arrow will only take you back to supersonic clean. It won't take you any further out. So 
Just go ahead and turn the power off using your power button. And once it boots down, the screen goes dark, you can turn it back on, printer goes back to ready. And then you're ready uh, to run a manual nozzle check again, verifying that uh, you've made some improvement or you're back to a perfect nozzle check, hopefully. Okay, I've demonstrated with the 4880 how to do a supersonic clean, most importantly, when to do a supersonic clean. So make sure if you have any questions on this procedure, that you call us here at Condi Systems Tech Support Department. You can reach us by going to the 1-800 number and pressing 2 that goes straight to the tech support. Make sure if you have any questions, you give us a call. My name is Vicki, and as always, I appreciate your time.